Hey guys, it's T from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm here to show you how to use a plugin that is launched with RPG Maker MZ. First, I'm going to show you how to find it. Go to your Steam library if you have RPG Maker MZ installed on Steam, and right click on MZ, go to Properties, go to Local Files, and click Browse Local Files. Inside Local Files, you look in the DLC folder, go to your Basic Resources, Plugins, and then launch. The plugin we're going to learn how to use today is called animationmv.js, so go ahead and copy that. If you have the standalone version of MZ, just go to your project folder where MZ is located, look for the DLC folder, and find the plugin there. Now that we have a copy of this plugin, let's put it in our project. So go to your MZ project folder, go into JS, plugins, and go ahead and paste that plugin in animationmv.js. The next thing we're going to do is turn this plugin on. So go to your MZ project in your plugin manager and turn the plugin on. Now that we've done that, we're going to create another folder in the data folder and it's going to be called MV. Inside this MV folder, we need to put the animations.json from the MV project. But before we do that, we need to set this up a little bit so that we don't overwrite the MZ animations. So in MZ, take note of how many animations you have. In this project, we have 120. We're going to change the maximum so that we have room to add some more. Now in the MV project, go to your animation tab. And we're going to move these animations so that they don't overwrite the ones in MZ. So let's just copy these. Change the maximum. And paste them underneath the maximum of what's in your MZ project. And then we're going to go up, select the originals, and delete them. This is very important because you're going to save this now, and it's going to create an animation.json file that we're going to use in our MZ project. So hit OK and save. Now back to our project folders. In our MV project folder, we're going to go into data and copy the animations.json file. And then in our MZ project folder, in the file that we created, data MV, we're going to paste that file. Now the last thing to do is to go into your MV project file, into the image folder, copy your animations folder, and paste that into the image folder of your MZ project. There we go, we should be done. Now in our MZ project, if we scroll down to the area where the MV animations were, you'll see that there's no names, it's just blank. But if we play an animation from any one of these numbers, it will play the corresponding animation from the MV file that we copied over. Let's try that out. Works great. Okay, now the last thing I want to mention is I'm sure you noticed that none of the names have been filled in here. This is something you'll have to do on your own. I left one blank space so that I can put here NV animations below. Now I know that my NV animations are below, and then if I go underneath, I can also make a marker for where the NV animations end. Now I know where they all are, and the last thing I need to do is go through and manually name them. You don't have to do this, but it will help with your organization. Okay, and that's it. So this is how you use the plugin mvanimations.js to import your MV animations into an MZ project without changing any of the core files. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, definitely give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on the Discord. We love hanging out with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!